do. I mean, look at that. What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the U-verse? This is your boy Mountain Moto again, brought to you by my friends over here at Grand Prix Motorsports in Littleton, Colorado. Let's go up around here and get some pictures of this beauty so I can show you guys what I'm riding. Oh, she's got some pop. Oh, this thing is so nice. Let's pull up up here. This building and trees always makes for a nice backdrop. So again, thank you to my friends at Grand Prix Motorsports for allowing me to ride their brand new 2017 FZ09. For 2017, what Yamaha has done, they took the exact same motor, which is an awesome triple, and they put it into the exact same chassis, which was a great chassis. They restyled it a bit, they added a slipper clutch, they added some traction control systems, a few more electronic foibles to it. Um, they offer now, you can add on a quick shifter. So factory mounted quick shifter, this one does not have it, it's an option. Um, some of the, rest the, the restyling I really like. I love the new front end. I love those LED headlights. Oh my God, I love those, they're so pretty. I'm not a big fan of the side blinkers, but most of us change those anyway. So from the front end, we move back to the back. I don't know what Yamaha was thinking with the ass of this bike, but don't get me wrong, I can see the canvas underneath that. And I think this bike could be absolutely gorgeous if you're willing to put a little bit of effort into it. And one thing I noticed is these LEDs light up separate from the brake. So I'm assuming Moto Dynamic is gonna come out with an integrated tail light where left blinker, right blinker, brake, with a brake, brake alert, and that would be sick. Get rid of these damn things. I mean, the canvas is there, and it's an absolutely gorgeous bike. All right, so let's do a startup sequence on this puppy. Do, 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 the nice little dance. Now on this, we've got a gear indicator. We've got our odometer as a bar style, speedometer, traction control system. Our mode system goes B, button over here, standard A. Fuel gauge, don't know what that is. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Um, so it's got a quick shift indicator light because again, there is a factory option for that. Uh, ABS traction controls, you know, your blinkers. This one does also have four ways, which is kind of cool. Uh, standard controls, you got your horn, indicators, high beams. Your traction control switches are over here. Two stages of traction control. Flashlight, flash to pass. Over here is where we find our mode button. Oh. And the starter is kind of cool. So it's a pull down to start. All the way up is off. Doesn't have a separate start button like you normally see. Or like, you know, some of us are used to seeing. Now again, I'm six foot three. I got a 34 inch inseam. Kick that uh, kick starter out of the way. As you can see, comfortably flat footing it, seated. This one's got a pretty comfortable seat from the short amount of saddle time that I've gotten on her. You can hear that cross plane. Let's give her a listen. Oh, gotta love these triples. And we're gonna try to keep it fairly sedate. Just cause, as always, this is not my bike. I'm just gonna come out and test ride it and give you guys my impressions of it. It's about as close to love as I can get beyond my duchess. Now this one is, I can't remember what the exact color is. There's a couple, three color options. I've seen black online, a Raven version, but it's not listed as an official color scheme through Yamaha. And this white is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a metallic flake in it. It really is a beautiful, beautiful paint. 
again we'll go down around here come to a stop let's do a second gear start on this thing we, we know it won't have any problems with it oh yeah just as smooth as your clutch hand is and the quick shifter really isn't needed because you can you can power shift this thing see how she sets into this corner oh yeah really nice cockpit to move around in very comfortable moving around in this thing absolute joy absolute joy actually I'm loving this I'm liking this better than the FZ 10 to be honest with you now I really like the FC 10 those of you that know me I think it's an awesome bike I love the concept of having that leader engine crammed into an FC frame I just didn't like the seat I didn't like the cockpit as much as I do this one this one you definitely feel I feel more at home instantly I don't feel any funky ridges I feel like I can reposition myself She sounds good too. Oh, back, back brakes are great. Wow, with that slipper clutch, guys, I gotta tell you, I don't see the purpose of a quick shifter. With that slipper clutch, she bangs down to really nice no problems at all no big stutters oh that is nice it is such a smooth and fluid shift <laughs> Clutch shifting is, you know, traditional shifting is great. I do like the power shifting on this bike. I love the balance. Feels like a super agile chassis. I like the seating position. It's more upright. It's that Street Fighter. It's the one you that everybody sees on the FZs. I mean, you're not all crump, crouched over. You're not going to be hurting, but you definitely can tuck in. It's got plenty of room in this cockpit. And she's got pop. Oh, and I like the growl, even with a stock exhaust. I can't imagine if you toss a Yosh on this or an Acropovic or your choice of nice free-flowing exhaust, what this thing's gonna sound like. Honestly, the lack of a windscreen isn't affecting me that much. Again, it is a sit-up bike, so while it's not deflecting it around me at all, it's not too bad. Even up at 85, 90 miles an hour, it didn't feel like it was horrible. Yeah, those weren't even my best downshifts, and uh, she sucked them up just fine. So all of this ride has been in standard mode. You can switch on the fly. I just switched into A mode. All you gotta do is close the throttle and we'll switch to B. But honestly, I like this bike so much in standard mode. I'm just gonna leave it in standard right now. I'm having so much fun just cruising around in standard mode, completely untuned. Oh man. 
I like this chassis. It does not fight you at all. I gotta say, the addition of the slipper clutch, while I haven't ridden a last generation FC09 yet, and I'm gonna do that soon, the addition of a slipper clutch has made a huge difference. It's got to, because it's such a tremendous piece of technology to add to any motorcycle. And those of us, oh, nice back brakes. Those of us that have ridden a bike with a slipper clutch know what I'm talking about. They really are a wonderful thing. If you can, it's not a, it's not a deal breaker for me by any means on a bike. But if I'm looking at two bikes and they're roughly the same price and I like them roughly the same amount and one of them's got a slipper clutch, I am grabbing that one with a slipper clutch. I guarantee you. They just make your corner exit downshifts that much smoother. They make everything smoother. Slipper clutches are the bomb. Let's do a highway roll on real quick. Right here from the corner, C470 in Santa Fe. You can see my friends over at Grand Prix Motorsports and their beautiful building up there. So if you are interested in a Kawasaki, a Yamaha, an Indian, a Polaris, one of the leftover victories. Oh yeah, I was supposed to be doing a roll on. <laughs> that was not a roll on. <laughs> All right, so now we're doing about 50. Do 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 do, fourth gear. Let's put her up into fifth. So, fifth gear, 47 miles an hour, 50. Whoa, where are you going, dude? Roll on, and just like that, we're at 80. That wasn't even full throttle. I didn't peg the throttle or nothing. That's, uh, that's a very nice motor. That is definitely a very nice motor. Very nice bike. All right, so up here at triple digits, you do start to feel the wind. You definitely start to feel it. Clutch on this actually isn't a bear. It's not a burden to hold. Yeah, front end will pop. Just like any other FZ, this thing will be a wheelie machine if you want it to. I love that intake whistle. I hope you guys can hear it a little bit. Be interesting to see, interested to see what you can do to open these up. Now the pegs on this are really nice. I really like the position. Feels sporty, but really comfortable. Really like it. Yeah, this thing gets up to trips with no problem, but that, you'd expect that. You know, it is an 09. It is a wicked motor. It does have plenty of power. It does have great gearing. It does have phenomenal electronics. It's got great balance. It's a very good bike. Now for 2017, from what I understand, they upped the price about 800 bucks. So they went from your $81, $8,200 MSRP up to an $89.99. So just under nine grand is your MSRP on this bike. Now with that, you're, with that extra 800 bucks, you're getting a slipper clutch, you're getting enhanced electronics, you're getting a full LED lighting package. Um, if it's worth it or not is up to you. I know that MSRP on the 2016 well, they're probably not going to be asking full MSRP as they try to clear out the last-gen bikes. So, 
is it worth an extra fifteen hundred dollars personally yeah because i'm a bike snob <laughs> And this new front end, while I liked the old 09, I liked the styling of the old 09, this new front end is just a thing of beauty. I just like the styling. I like the balance. I like the triple. I like the induction noise. I love the exhaust noise. I hate the back end. I absolutely, don't, don't get me wrong, I absolutely hate the butt on this bike. But beyond that, this is a very nice, very sexy bike with so much potential. It's sick. All right, guys and gals. Well, that concludes my first ride of this wonderful 2017 FZ09. It's back on the line. It's back waiting to be bought. And it is looking good. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember to watch on Fridays, because on Fridays, I'm going to be bringing you guys first rides for the season two. But until the next time, guys, Mountain Moto, shiny side up. Peace.